Hi everyone! Today I'm going to be pinning several bugs that I've caught the last time that I went collecting. Now obviously there are way too many butterflies here to pin in one setting, mainly because I don't have the pinning board space. But I did want to go ahead and give you an idea of some of my more recent catches. So before I get started, I wanted to show you some of my tools. You can see my two pins here. This is an insect pin. This is a sewing pin. Like, you know, how you secure cloth with it. Uh, well, only ever use these if you absolutely have to. They make for terrible pinning. Um, but if you're poor, I suppose, and you know someone that has them, you can use them. These are not that expensive and totally worth the buy. I'm sure by now you've noticed my forceps here. They are the spade forceps, so they're good for picking up bugs, especially butterflies, because you don't want to touch the wings, or else you will risk rubbing off the small scales, and that'll destroy the color. I also, of course, have a little paper here for identification um, underneath, and my pen for writing. And I have a bunch of pens as well, and then I have some scissors for cutting the labels. Now the labels, they're just going to have like where I caught it, what time of day I caught it, what month and year that I caught it. Last but definitely not least is going to be what I'm actually resting my camera on. So I have one of these little pinning blocks that help you space out the bugs. You put the bug on the top tier, first label on the second tier, second label on the third tier. Um, so, yep, I'm currently using it as a camera stand, but I'll use it a bit later to actually measure out where the bugs go. So the first butterfly I want to show you guys is my sulfur here. Um, I caught this sulfur the other day, um, actually yesterday, during the new solar eclipse that happened. I didn't actually watch much of the eclipse, I mostly just went out collecting. But this is one of the sulfurs that I managed to catch. Next on the list are my two white peacocks. I say my loosely because my nephews actually helped me collect a lot of the bugs and my nephews caught both of these while we were out collecting. One of them was caught while I was absent, so they caught it by themselves, and another one was caught yesterday by my older nephew because his brother does not have a white peacock yet and he wanted one. This one I'm actually really excited about because I have never had one of these in my collection before and I caught it just yesterday during the eclipse as well. It is a zebra long wing, and so I'm very excited to have this one, and it's also one of the ones that I'm gonna be pinning later. Now these next two are actually not caught by me either. You have a common buckeye. That's actually a very dark colored buckeye. Most buckeyes are not this dark in color. They're a bit lighter, and it was caught by my uh, brother-in-law, and it was actually not caught in Florida. It was caught up in Kentucky, and then this one, was caught by one of my friends. Um, she doesn't really collect, but she found it while at work and brought it to me. I am sure that you have noticed these three guys sitting up at the top. They are the same butterfly. Each of them, of course, is a little bit different. And I've had one in my collection before, but it's been a very long time and it is broken and I have effectively forgotten the name. So I'll update y'all with that when I finish pinning them and they've dried and I've gone on to the identification process. And of course, what's a round of collecting if you don't come away with at least one barred yellow? I know barred yellows are super easy to catch and they're everywhere, but they are gorgeous butterflies and each of them look a little bit different, so it's always cool to pick them out and find some new ones and then give them to your nephews. Okay, so here are two of the specimens I showed you earlier, the buckeye on the left and the one caught by my friend on the right. They are fully pinned and so now I just have to let them dry. I accidentally tore the buckeye's wing just a little bit up there at the top. I'm kind of upset about it, but hey, it's still in better condition than my current buckeye, so. Here is the zebra long wing and sulfur. I'm sure you can tell why it's called a long wing. Its wings are extra long, not tall like most butterflies um, so much so that it doesn't quite fit in the camera there it could zoom out but it wouldn't be quite as stable um, both of those are also fully pinned and now I'll just let them dry and then they get to go in the collection 
And finally, I have these two specimens. I showed you the one that is the orange and black in the middle. Earlier, it's one of the sulfur orange yellow butterflies and that family. And then the one all the way to the left or the one at the top. That one is actually a moth that I managed to catch in Kentucky as well. And I have another one that'll pin later. Um, for now, they are going to dry and then go in the collection. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out my next video where I'm going to be taking these guys off the pinning board, giving them labels, and putting them in my collection. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next time.